While everybody's bringing out the pumpkin spice and the fall decorations, this right here, this wig, this color is my favorite thing about fall. If you've been following me for years, you guys know the red auburn vibe is definitely my signature look for fall. So I'm super excited to pop out with this wig from Mega Look. They sent this beauty over as a lace frontal. And as you guys can see, I've installed her and I've slayed her to perfection. I'm going to share with you all of my tips and tricks on how I got the flawless install, the ponytail, the curls, and all of that. So let's get started. This here is the packaging. It does come in this beautiful dust bag. This is the look at the wig straight out of the bag. We are going free part frontal today. It does come as a 4x4, a 5x5, a 13x4, or a 13x6. And this is what she looks like on. You can definitely pick from a 14 inch all the way to a 30 inch. I have all the specs on mine in the description box. This is a look at what the texture looks like. We are going body wave today. And at this point, I wanted to go buzz down middle part. As you guys seen in the intro, that wasn't my final destination, but I still wanted you guys to see how well this one parts. I personally have a 13 by 4 frontal, but again, you can pick from four different options for lace size. So step one is going to be just to cut off the excess lace around the ear. Always, always, always cut off any excess lace that covers or makes the wig sit on top of your ear. This is going to give your wig a custom fit and it'll make your wig fit like a glove. From there, I'm going to go ahead and customize the hairline. I knew I wanted to customize and tweeze it out, but for me personally, I feel like when the hairline is bone straight, it makes it super duper easy to go ahead and pluck out the hairline. You can do this by wetting down the hairline and making it straight or doing what I did, which is the dynamic duo. Now here I am customizing the hairline. I wanted to just tweeze it out and open it up. At this point, I kind of was leaning towards a no baby hair look and I like it when the hairline is a little bit more jagged, a little bit more sparse um, in the hairline. That just makes it look a lot more natural on me. Next, I went ahead and cut off all the excess lace. I feel like I get the perfect cut with an eyebrow razor. You could pick these up at your local beauty supply store. Target and Walmart also carry their version of these, um, but I get mine in bulk on Amazon and I'll have the link in the description box. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my own hair. It's important that you go ahead and you see how mem sideburns look? My sideburns were definitely looking crazy. If you want a flat and flawless install, just a simple step of just laying your own edges down and slicking them back can be a huge difference for a clean install, especially because we're going for a non-natural color. We don't want those brown sideburns peeking out from the red auburn color. Now we are going in with a non-glue adhesive. This is an extra hold hairspray. It's actually from Got To Be Glue and I get it at Target as well. I'm going to have it in the description box, but this is my favorite adhesive at the moment to bond my wigs down with. And I'm just going in sections. Since we cut the entire lace off first, I'm going in and securing the center and then I do one side and then the opposite side. Be sure if you do the same thing, you do this on a cool setting. This will go for a cleaner hairline. Got a Diet Coke today as my bev of choice. Now I'm going in and deciding what style I wanted. First, I wanted a buzz down middle part, but I felt like snooze, boring. Let's do something a little bit more fun. So I went for a half up, half down. Typically, I would do this on a 13 by 6 because I feel like when you get a little bit more parting space, it just looks a lot better. But as you guys can see, you can't even tell that it's not a 13 by 6 It doesn't look like the parting is too short or anything like that. And that is thanks to good hair, good wig, good cap construction, as well as a good install. So right now, I'm just doing the dynamic duo all the way around. Once you get your parting as perfect as you can get it for your ponytail, you want to make sure that everything that is exposed around the lace is as flat as possible. And I do that with the wax paired with the electric hot comb. I go around the parting in the back for the hair that is staying down. And then I go around the entire ponytail. And you look, just look, look how flat and small and smooth that ponytail is. It definitely looks salon quality. And you guys seen I did it right before your eyes. Now, because we were doing a ponytail, I do feel like when you're doing like styles like this, it does look better with a little bit of baby hair. You guys already know just from watching my channel, there are so many options and ways to do baby hair in the front. 
This is my favorite when it comes to ponytails. I really wanted to go in and show off and impress you guys with the hairline today. So I was sure to take my time. I did cut off the ear tabs that would be considered sideburns and I melted the lace well enough that I was able to still pull off sideburns without having that flap at the bottom. So if this lifts, it won't be that big piece of lace hanging. It'll just be the hair in front and I can just easily just push or brush this hair back and I don't have to have the sideburns every day. I can pull them out when I want and I have time to slay. And on days when I'm just in a rush, I can kind of pull those back. This is what it looks like with the baby hair and the ponytail and the install. Of course, you know, we got to set it off with a little bit of lace tint. I'm going in with a cream foundation, which is giving skin. Honestly, it's giving really good skin on this wig. You guys know this is my main product I use. And then I use the corresponding powder along the hairline. And I really do take my time and pack it in. Because this is a foundation, it's going to rub off and you'll have to reapply it every few days, which is a great thing because I can switch it up if I feel like the color needs to be adjusted. Now for the final step, I'm gonna go ahead and wand curl the hair. Now this is optional because the body wave looks so good. I recommend that you just put a little bit of like oil sheen, your favorite serum, add a little water and wet it down and just scrunch it with your hands, maybe even lightly diffuse to get it back dry and you'll be good to go. I highly recommend you utilize your hair in the natural styles when you purchase. But for me, of course, if you have somewhere to go and you really want to be done up, the wand curls are definitely an easy beginner friendly way to achieve curls. I went ahead and curled three little pieces in the ponytail and then I did the bottom. I did this side and then I used a flex hold hairspray to go ahead and let the curls set. I did the opposite side off camera. I did majority of the curls off camera to save you guys the headache. But this is the look. You guys see how flawless she looks. This looks like the, your favorite hairstylist achieved this look. And I did it literally for beginners right before your eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm going to go ahead and comb the curls out with a wide tooth comb. And you guys can see how well this one holds a curl. She's absolutely flawless. No tangling, no shedding, no odd smells absolutely ready for fall and this is the packaging as i showed you and as promised here is a look at what they included in my package inside was a wig cap pack um, a pack of lashes a melt belt they also included an edge brush in the color purple and then this cute little clip and it has pearl details on it Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this install. Feel free to save this one so that you can watch it over and over again to achieve the same or similar look. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.